Hey. Thank you for coming. Of course. I asked Juliana to come over and meet me at my home office because I want to show Peter that I'm standing up for our relationship and that I was listening. How was the weekend? It was good, it was oh. good. Where were you? I was at Christina's wedding. <laughs> How was that? It was fun, it was fun. Who else did you see out there? Everybody from college. Really? Yes. I have to tell you some stuff that I found from college too. Um, I want to get some water and then when yeah. I come back we can talk. Oh, this is going to be a difficult conversation and hopefully Julie doesn't give me any pushback, any drama because between buying the ring, being nervous about whether or not he's going to say yes or say no, it is a lot to deal with. You need to sit? No, no, you can sit there. That's good. I started crying last night about something. What? So I'm getting all the Christmas decorations out and I found Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. Oh, wow. The dolls? Wow. When Josh and I were dating, for my first birthday that we were together, he went to Build-A-Bear and built me a Tinkerbell because it was my favorite character. We're talking 13 years ago. I thought that when I got rid of like my wedding dress and like all the things that I got rid of, I thought I had gotten rid of them. And it was, I started crying because I thought, man, you know what? So many times, like I said, I focus on our negatives. That just causes more problems, so. Julie's obviously feeling some type of way, but it's been so many years since we've separated. And at this point, it, it just feels like there's a lot of additional baggage or situations that she needs to work through. What's the um, one thing that really affects you with the negative? The one thing that hurt me the most, the night Angie was born. I remember you telling me, okay, I'll be right back and leave you in the hospital. And then it was like, it was my first night of being a mom and you just never came back. I don't remember it that way, but I don't want to take away from your feeling or whatever you were feeling. It hurts you and it affects you. And the fact that I left in itself, whether it was just for an hour or a few hours. Um, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to let that one go. I struggle with letting go of some of those things from the past that have been hidden shackles for me. I shouldn't have left. Um, and I own that part. I shouldn't have left. The night that our daughter was born, it's an overwhelming feeling, and I needed time to process everything that was happening. Her and I not being together, and then the daddy issues, how do I work this out? How do I be a dad? I'm sorry for leaving. I didn't mean to hurt you. For him to hear me, for him to apologize, it's exactly what I needed, and, it, and I didn't even know it. It was hard for both of us, and I hope that we can remember more of the good times that we had you know, and let that sort yeah. of be. It's been so long since we're not together. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do, and I, see, like, and I see the difference in how you love Peter. I remember that you had like sent him flowers and thinking, wow, he really loves him. Yes, I do. And on that note, I've been thinking, maybe it is the right time for you to drop my last name. If dropping the last name is helpful for letting go in the past, maybe that's just something. I've never thought of it that way. Unless it's too hard. You need a minute? I feel really bad that she's feeling this way, but the codependency that Juliana and I have, it's, it's not healthy and it is affecting the dynamics of our relationships. I'm sorry, it's gonna be fine. Are you okay with it? 